And Spencer Darlington reports on the life and times of Luton Shelton, whose career spanned almost two decades. For those who followed prep school football in the 1990s, the name Luton Shelton was constant. The Tivoli Gardens native was head and shoulders above his peers, whether he was keeping goal or playing as a striker. He was then encouraged to join Harborview Football Club by his father, Luton Shelton Sr. But there was a time when he almost gave up the sport. However, thanks to the advice of coach Ludlow Bernard, Shelton went on to be a household name. It was between playing football and doing track and field. And I decided that, you know, if I cannot make a team out of 22 players on the pitch and I'm sitting on the side, I'm in a sense, you know, them way there. And I went to Mr. Bernard as a little youth and I said to him, say, Coach, I don't think it makes no sense. I um, think I need, to, I need to change what I do and just maybe go back to my tracks and stuff. And uh, at that moment, he said to me, say, little boy, just relax. Um, I can promise you this. You can be all time leading goals over for Jamaica. And it came to pass that Shelton became the nation's all-time leading scorer at the age of 26. Big ball, I, I was really surprised, to be honest, when I, when I break it because... You know, I have a coach who look out for my best interest from me young, go all the way up and um, push me to the level and I actually did it, knowing that he tell me this from 15. Shelton, who made his senior team debut for Jamaica against St. Martin at the National Stadium in 2004, went straight into the history books for being the only man to score four goals on debut. I wasn't too keen on it, but it was like, I was like, oh, at least, <laughs> at least me not record for something, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, we can't complain, you know. Throughout his journey, Shelton was one of a few Jamaican-born players to ply his trade in the English Premiership. He did so for Sheffield United in 2007. When I think about it, a little, maybe two or three years after, it wasn't the perfect move because I um, had time. But I still made the move because, you know, as a young player, everyone of us dream is to play in England. His last stop overseas was in Russia, where he played for Volga Nizhny Novgorod. But that relationship did not end on the best note. Once you start to treat me a certain way, then I try to, you know, not pay my salary the right way. I, I just go home and fight it through FIFA, you know what I mean? So the thing is that I wasn't getting my salary on time, so um, I, I come home because I know I can, <laughs> I can manage to be home. In 2018, TVJ broke the news that Shelton was suffering from the deadly disease amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. Initially, the doctor saw you drooling, and from there on, she said that you're taking medication that you're not supposed to. And as I said, they run their test and they found out that, yes, he has ALS. Spencer Darlington, TVJ Sports.